Hi, this is Rick Manning, President of Americans for Limited Government. Kevin McCarthy uh, was on CNBC this morning and just ripped Joe Biden, put him on a clock to uh, and said, debt ceiling's approaching and you're on the clock. Uh, Biden's been promising meetings and so far, like many things Biden promises, they've never happened. Uh, let's see what, what Speaker McCarthy has to say. Given what you're saying and given the response from the White House press secretary, it doesn't seem like we've made any progress since that meeting you had two months ago with President Biden. We've made no progress. And Joe, you know me, I'm always an optimist. I'm not now. They asked to pass just to raise the debt ceiling. Well, they control the Senate. They can't pass it in the Senate. Even Democrats in the House tell me they would not vote for that. So that's off the table. The president and I met more than two months ago. Since that time, he has misled the whole Congress and the country. When we were together at the prayer breakfast, he says we're going to sit down the next day, told the entire Congress that we're going to meet. At the Democratic retreat, he told the Democrats that, they, that we were planning meetings. He's never had one meeting. It's been more than two months. Time is ticking. Now I'm very concerned about where we are. Look, we've came with an idea of being very reasonable, responsible, to limit, save, and grow. We picked ideas that Democrats have asked for. Limit the amount of spending. That's what Joe Manchin says. The outgrowth, uh, non-defense, just cap how fast you can grow. Find savings. We have billions of dollars of unspent COVID money that sat dormant for more than two years. You can grab some of that back. Find our ability to grow this economy through the economy, through energy. Maybe you do something when it comes to securing our border. Maybe you do work requirements, things that he voted for, for um, as a senator, which Bill Clinton put in, for those with no dependents. These are ideas that we have more than four trillions in savings. And now the economy is even a worse position because of his extreme spending levels, what they took with all Democrats in, in power. I am more concerned than I have ever been to be able to get this debt ceiling done because he refuses to meet with anybody and then misleads the American public and the markets aren't seeing that. We've been in using uh, uh, necessary extraordinary measures the Department of Treasury has for a number of months now to kind of kind of stretch the bills out a little bit so they don't have we don't hit it up against the debt ceiling. But the fact of the matter is the debt ceiling is going to be hit and what the Republicans in the House are trying to do is very simple. They're trying to be responsible. Joe Biden's put a budget out for, for this year that anticipates increasing our spending by a solid four or five hundred billion dollars more. This is Janet Yellen admitting this yesterday in a in a hearing. Five hundred billion dollars more in 2024 than the spending is in 2022, three rather. That's absurd. That's obscene. And of course, Yellen, Yellen and Biden, their, their answer is, well, we're going to raise taxes by $4.1 trillion over the next 10 years. And somehow they're going to not hit the people who make under $400,000. Well, you know how that works. It, it works real fine until they start trying to find where the money is. And guess where it is? It's in your pocket. And they're going to try to grab it. So we've got a spendathon, unlike anything we've ever seen. This is regular spending. This isn't COVID spending. This isn't extra Ukraine spending. This isn't any of that. This is straight, flat spending by this administration. Last, last year, uh, we spent $6.25 million, trillion, um, $400 billion of that or student loans being uh, waived. Uh, and so we really spent about $5.8 trillion last year. Biden wants to spend six, almost $6.8 trillion, actually $6.8 trillion this upcoming year. So in two years, it go, the spending in this government would go up by a trillion dollars. That's not fiscally responsible. You can't, we're not in COVID anymore. There's not extraordinary problems with COVID anymore. It's time to tighten the belt because it's the spending that got us into the inflation problem. It's the inflation problem that caused the bonds in some of those banks to not be worth as much and because they didn't, they didn't really manage the risk very well and hedge against the increased inflation, because they failed in doing basic economic things to, say, to make it so their banks were solvent, we had a couple of banks fail as a result of that. And all the other people, all the depositors across the country who weren't in a failed bank, we're all going to get to pay the price tag for those failed banks to increase less lower interest rates we get paid, um, increased costs for having a checking account. So guess what? 
it's time for them to be serious. Thank goodness we've got Kevin McCarthy sitting there and fighting to try to actually do something to, to roll back some of this uh, spendathon. And you know, the amazing thing is they're not even talking about like cutting spending. They're talking about just limiting the growth of the spending, just limiting the growth of the spending. It's obscene what's happening. And it's time for, it's really time to stand up and tell Congress that it's time for them to start cutting the budget and quit messing around with this dramatic expansion of government. I don't think anybody voted for a trillion dollar increase over two years. I don't think anybody voted for that. And so folks, it's time to stand up. Thanks for listening. We'll be back tomorrow.